this finds you well once again welcome to our youtube channel joint hands green life trees coming to you from uriri sub county in migori county in kenya and this time we are at tunis hotel tunis hotel is located in this county of migori and uh, this uh, hotel today they were hosting uh, farmers who have particularly ventured into poultry keeping and so uh, those farmers were going through a couple of trainings and so these trainings that they were going through uh, were to inform them on how to uh, the successes that they can make about uh, poultry keeping. As I told you before is that farmers are, have been here for better part of the day uh, almost spending the entire day here picking trainings on poultry keeping and also uh, weighing in on how they've been practicing it before vis-a-vis -vis what they are receiving today and let's get to hear from one of the farmers who have been here for the training your name first okay, thank you my name is jackson kizia yes jackson. i'm a farmer in uh, uriri yeah. sub county yeah. uh, west kanyamkago yeah. and i stay around osogo area right. uh been uh, benefited from uh, what we have been taught about poultry farming, yeah. uh, we have been uh, given uh, varieties of, uh, you know, the chicks we should keep, yeah. how to keep them, and the type of uh, treatment we should give them. Yeah. Yeah. So we are very happy that um, at least when we go back home, yeah. we have something to share with our fellow um, farmers. farmers. And uh, how do you compare this to how you've been practicing before? Do you think you've acquired new knowledge? Yeah, we have been given uh, new knowledge, especially yeah. on how to build a, a, a good house for the chicks. Yeah. And uh, how to get uh, the variety of chicks. Yeah. And uh, how we can uh, market them. I'm Dr. Zawadi Kikumba. Yes, my sure. uh, A farmer. Mostly I deal with the maize plantation. Yeah. But today we were being called, we were called to have some well, some of the training here. Yeah. So it was it was nice. All right. Yes. Do I you have, think you can now venture into poultry keeping besides maize ab farming? Absolutely, yeah. because you know of late I have been keeping, I have been practicing small scale poultry keeping, poultry keeping. Yeah. but for now, from now, yeah. I think I will advance. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so you are on our YouTube channel. This is called Joint Hands Green Life Trees. Yes. We basically deal with the trees, but we also practice agroforestry. Yes. Thank you so much, Kikumba. Thank you. Too. Yeah, so that was uh, one of the farmers who got this training, and it was uh, they acknowledging that it was quite fruitful. Uh, all this, remember, is coming to you courtesy of uh, Cosmos uh, Company. It's a company that deals with uh, the manufacturers of uh, of medical supplies to livestock and so they were here and they are still here and I'm looking for an opportunity we'll hear from them uh, how it has been and the much of the trainings they have covered with the farmers but uh, they also I have to say that they helped uh, farmers to understand the different aspects about poultry keeping, uh, they've talked about how to prepare the right structure for the poultry and they've also talked about whether you'd want to keep uh, layers or you'd want to keep broilers and how to go about the vaccination procedure to see that uh, the vaccination is the vaccination timetable is adhered to because uh, every vaccine is administered at different intervals and so we found it important to understand at which interval do we administer which vaccine and also poultry diseases were extensively discussed here and they were ready to uh, show us uh, which medication is right for what condition and so all that has been covered extensively finish diarrhea alafu sa zingine kama hii ni form ya digestive form ya pili ya mafua kwa hiyo utapata ni kuku ina nini ina homa eh ina homa 
so ina chemua ina jaza ni nisa zingine hata ukiinamisha huko ana mwaga mpaka maji huko a few areas to highlight like yeah. <laughs> and today we were in poultry keeping yeah, yeah. you know poultry is also an aspect of uh, agroforestry right. yes we deal with the livestock trees and crops right so in uh, livestock poultry is also there yeah yes so today we were in poultry keeping yeah. uh, sponsored by Cosmos. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and uh, they've been quite informative on all that we have discussed with them. Yeah. And uh, we also realize how all these are intertwined: uh, trees and livestock, livestock and crops. And, crops, and yes. because again, the poultry has to be dependent on. Yeah, they must on, coexist. They coexist. Yeah, for the benefit of each other. Yeah, and, and this for the benefit of us as human beings. Right. Yes. And this again will help us also to see where to link our farmers. Yes. Uh, whenever they have conditions that uh, require attention, especially to their poultry, yeah. we now know where to refer well, them. And you can remember, most a victim of this. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember. I lost how, all my birds uh, yeah, just I the remember. other day. Yeah. Um, of a disease that I couldn't even tell. Yeah, and, and they uh, were all gone within one week. And after yeah. the training through which we've gone, we now understand how that came about yes. and uh, what we needed to have done that we did not do rightly. So we hope to follow the right procedures to see that we do something that can help us to have the poultry yeah. and also to maximize on what benefits we can get from them. Exactly. Yeah, so that is, is that... Uh... Yeah, it was quite beneficial, but I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, please Just go ahead. Just one disease that they mentioned there. <laughs> no, I will not uh, talk of one disease, yeah. but uh, they mentioned a disease called Newcastle. Yes. And uh, Newcastle, Newcastle, fever. Disease, yeah, Newcastle fever disease is dangerous to poultry. Yes because of uh, the stress, first of all, that it causes to the poultry and also um, the disability, the weakening of uh, muscles yes. uh, that sometimes comes along with it. Uh, and also they mentioned about <laughs> diarrhea. Yeah. yeah, and besides Newcastle, they also There's talked of another disease called coxidiosis that, is mostly, that mostly affects chicks. Yeah. They also talked of uh, Marex. Marex, uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> there's so a disease many, yeah. that was called Marex that and they mentioned. That there was they another. They also need the warming. And there is also necessity for the warming. Yeah. Things that we have never considered and thought about much. But they, they highlighted that it is important to be warm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also, uh, there was another disease that was called Bumboro. So yeah, Bumboro is also another disease. <laughs> there were just so many yeah. diseases, but uh, I'm glad that they tackled uh, bullet by bullet yeah. uh, each disease. And uh, I believe that as we walk through the notes that we jotted down, we'll be able to, to even advise other farmers based on the knowledge that we've acquired. Yes. And... Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. <good. laughs> yeah, and uh, they told us that there's a difference between rearing chicken and living with the chicken. Yes. So when you rear chicken, that is uh, when you have you really have a, a definite structure for the chicken. But when you are living with them, maybe within your house you just set a portion for the chicken. That is living with the chicken, and it's not a good condition. And you know, living in a state in which we say you live with it chicken is a state in which you wake up in the morning yes. and don't bother about them. You don't them. bother about them. They're they just go their way as you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go your way as they go their way, yeah. then you meet later in the in evening. The evening yes. Whatever happened to them in the Maybe course of the day... if you have some little maize, you can pour on the ground there in the and, morning when yeah, they Yeah, and they go and pecking they... around and eating and forgetting about... You, you do not bother much about them. Yeah. But when you choose to rear chicken, you are concerned about how they... Uh, where they, they, they stay, how they stay, about the vaccination procedures, about feeding them and all that. So without that, then you find, you, you realize that you're not taking care of, you're not rearing chicken, but you're just living with your chicken. Uh, so let me get to introduce to you uh, uh, the facilitator who ensured that all this training occurred uh, rightly and farmers got uh, all the information as appropriately and also he'll also have much to tell us about Cosmos, the company for which he works. Welcome, sir. Your name first. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Dr. Brant Mose. 
I'm a veterinarian by profession and at uh, Cosmos I work uh, as the regional sales and uh, marketing manager. Uh, today uh, we had an, uh, an area, our area manager, uh, Dr. Peter Mboa, organize uh, a function with the farmers uh, within uh, uh, this area and uh, basically what we were trying to uh, bring to them is uh, issues of uh, best practice in terms of uh, poultry keeping and so we we looked at several issues initially actually started by listening to what their problems are and uh, encompass that in our uh, presentation and so we started with looking at the market issues of market and uh, just creating demand for the products that they are uh, trying to produce that is eggs and uh, chicken uh, then we came to chicken meat that is then we came to issues of uh, the breeds. What type of breeds do you uh, require for you to do this as a business? And so we looked at the improved uh, kenyeji, we looked at the layer bags, we looked at the broilers, and also the kenyeji, the pure kenyeji, which uh, of course have a uh, demand, have a certain different demand within the, the market here. Uh, then we moved into management issues because you can have good genetics. Uh, but the, the management issue becomes a problem so that we don't get the end results of what you're looking for. So we, we tackled uh, several issues of management including stress, issues that uh, cause stress in birds. We looked at uh, housing issues, we looked at uh, feeding those birds, we looked at uh, biosecurity, we looked at uh, diseases, some major diseases and how to manage them. Of course with, uh, with a service provider here, with an agrovet so that they can easily access the medicines that we talk about. Now, uh, as I said, uh, Cosmos uh, as a company, yeah, we are present in, uh, in Kenya and uh, East Africa as a, a veterinary uh, branch, but we're also present in other countries uh, and our human uh, division. Uh, but in uh, Kenya, so we have divided the region into 11 regions, uh, the country into 11 regions, and this is one of the regions, Nyanza, that we have uh, activities today. And also yesterday we were talking to dairy farmers uh, in Isibani. So today uh, we basically produce veterinary medicines and human medicine, but I'll, I'll talk about our veterinary medicines. The company has been in existence and our products have been in existence since uh, 1978. And so what you're trying to do is just pass these uh, technologies to, to the farmers. And probably today the, the, the take-home message was uh, we have a product called uh, Cosvita, which is a multivitamin for poultry that is uh, required uh, for different purposes, especially for stress management. So when you're looking at uh, um, boosting immunity of your birds and also boosting production, we've uh, talked to the farmers on how and when to use uh, Cosvita. So I think basically that's that's what we've done as a, as, a, as today as a, as, a, as an organization today just to pass on that information and help uh, grow the productivity of the farmers. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Doctor, for that candid explanation. Now, what uh, I, I got concerned about is uh, the fact that these farmers got all the theoretical training here. Is there an area or a place or where they can get to see the, all the practical application of the training? Uh, okay, we don't have model farms. What we do, how we approach it is after such trainings, we've gotten their contacts. And uh, my colleague, who is now the area manager here, what he does is uh, he gets in touch with individual farmers, yeah. and especially those who have big numbers. So we, 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 we have organ, uh, groups that we call poultry farmer groups, people coming from different uh, or same localities. So in such, we have uh, trainings that happen on site. Right. So we, we come and when we talk about housing, then we look at the kind of housing that is there and advice. So if, uh, for example, in that particular time, we have a farmer, we have a farmer with a fundi, yeah. They can be taken through on, uh, you know, how to, to, to change what is already existing in terms of feeding. So we, we do, as much as we don't have a demo farm, in places where we have demo farms, then we go to, we invite farmers to those demo farms. But in cases like this, where we've not established one, yeah. then we go to the farmers that have something going so that we improve on what is already, already existing there. Uh, thank you. Are you considering setting up one here, uh, a model farm? Here? A model farm, I mean, it, it is not something that we would uh, not consider. It is, it is, if, if it's open, if there is someone who can uh, do that for us, we will be very willing to do that because, I mean, it makes it easier for people to come and be trained uh, where they can see things practical. I think a lot of theory goes, like I could tell, maybe because of also the age of uh, 
of, of the farmers today. Yeah. Uh, the long trainings, again, they drain them so much and you find that they have missed quite a bit. Yeah. So that is a welcome idea and I think it's something that uh, as Cosmos uh, Limited we would want to support. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for being with us and thank you for also appearing on our YouTube channel. Oh, we look forward to catching up a lot more. Appreciate it. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. All right. Uh, yeah, guys, that is it uh, from uh, Dr. Bryant and uh, from Tunis Hotel. It was just so nice uh, hosting him and uh, also getting him training the farmers. Uh, I loved the training. It was quite comprehensive. It was quite candid and farmers got to understand a lot about all this. And so from Joint Hands Green Life Trees, this is what we have for you for today. We hope it has informed you a lot and we look forward to informing you a lot more. Bye bye.